If Fashola comes again and it comes to destroy things like this, how do the family live? On the 23rd of February 2013, the Lagos State Government sent in bulldozers into the Badia East community in Lagos State, Nigeria, uh, and with the support of heavily armed police, they demolished at least 266 structures uh, that served as homes and businesses of affected people. Several people were injured and many people were not allowed to uh, collect their belongings before their homes were destroyed. On my recent uh, mission, I met with uh, Bimbo Shobe and she told me that um, affected people uh, continue to live in precarious circumstances. A lot of us were rendered homeless. And as you can still see, we still have majority sleeping house. That's the sleep inside. Yes, that is one bed. Yes. This is one bed. May I go lie down for that place? So those are the things. She told me that uh, several families have been separated. Uh, children no longer go to school and many members of the community now rely on friends and family for food and clothing. And we still have, you know, some of these people you see selling outside now. Yeah. They used to be in their houses in their shops. Yeah. See what their vision has turned their business to. Before the demolition, the government failed to genuinely consult with the affected people. They failed to provide reasonable and adequate notice to the people. No compensation was paid and uh, no, there was no provision of adequate alternative uh, housing. If he, if he feels that he wants to demolish the place, give us a lengthy time to pack our things, relocate us to another place, give us the pattern of houses that he wants us to leave. Two days after the eviction took place, uh, community members uh, went to the governor's office to protest. Uh, they waited uh, outside the governor's office for several hours, demanding to meet the governor, uh, Rotten de Fashola, but uh, he refused to meet with the people. Only parts of the community was demolished on the 23rd of February, and um, the Lagos State government has stated that it intends to demolish uh, the remaining parts in two further phases. You want the government to come. Let us come together, reason together, and dialogue together. Amnesty International is calling on the Lagos State Government to stop all forced evictions in the state and also to provide um, compensation and alternative adequate housing. Badia East is not an isolated case. Several uh, informal settlements are at daily risk of forced evictions across Nigeria.